What's going on everyone? My name is Kyle. Today I got some Modern Warfare 3 for you guys. I didn't get this game early by the way for those wondering. Um, so if you guys accuse me of having this gameplay before or me being like a really high level. Um, I'm actually not a high level at all. I don't, I, I'm level 21 in this gameplay. Uh, right now I think I'm like level 32 and I only got the game today. So um, it goes to show how well Search and Destroy is played out into this game is a whole lot better than Black Ops I find and uh, there is some ups and there is some downs to the search and destroy so I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, what I like what I don't like and then my general opinions on the game as a whole and uh, what you guys are watching right now is a 14 and 1 on the map mission using a UMP with rapid fire I think I'm running sleight of hand uh, quick draw and I think my third perk is stalker um, there's one thing that I really like about this game is the fact that they have weapon proficiencies and what that does is it allows you to level up your gun and pretty much unlock um, maybe perks I say I guess you could call it perks for your gun um, let's say like you get your weapon to level four you have the option to uh, add like a perk or attachment whatever you want to call it um, you have a choice the first one is called kick and it reduces like your recoil then it goes up and it's called focus uh, what focus allows you to do is like when someone shoots you um, you don't really flinch as much so it's pretty much like hard and pro but it's not as hard to get so uh, that's what I like a lot about this game is the fact that when you level up your weapon and uh, let's say you really like to use a certain weapon then that weapon's gonna get better over time when you unlock a lot more stuff for it so that's really what I like about this game so far is the fact that the weapon proficiencies and uh, especially in search because when I use um, the kick or the focus because I'm I haven't really um, gotten that far to get any more um, they really help out they help out a lot but anyway uh, I want to talk a little bit about search and destroy and my opinions on this game first off search is um, pretty much just like Modern Warfare 2 the game plays like Modern Warfare 2 as a whole so you can only expect um, the game modes to play like Modern Warfare 2 but with that being said the maps are really small in Modern Warfare 3 or from what I've experienced lately um, I mean this map right here you literally you literally spawn and you run 10 feet and you're in a gunfight already so um, this game is a whole lot more fast paced than Modern Warfare 2 in my opinion um, as from what I can tell so far I mean I've played I think I have three hours on the game right now. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think somewhere around three to four hours maybe is um, all the playing time I have. I've only gotten to play, I think, five or six Search and Destroy games because uh, when you're trying to play Search, you really want to know the maps because you want to know where people are going to run. And um, when you first get a game trying to play Search against all the people that had the game before you, is just it does not work out for you in your favor. Um, that's why I've been playing Domination and I've been playing a little bit of Kill Confirmed. I just got off a little Kill Confirmed session on Xbox. So uh, right now I'm just trying to get used to the maps a little bit more. Maybe when I get used to the maps you're going to see a whole lot better scores from me. But I mean 14-1 on uh, my first day of playing or within my first two hours of playing on a game that I have no idea what's going on. Um, I thought it was really good in my opinion and um, I had, a, had some people in the game freak out at me for getting it. Uh, well for getting a score like that. They were calling me a tryhard and all that nonsense. But anyway, if you guys don't have this game already and um, you're thinking about purchasing it and uh, you're big into Search and Destroy, I, I would think about getting it just for that aspect because um, the search is really fun once you know what you're doing and once, going, once, once you have a, a general idea of what's going on around you. Um, the game's a little different, the handle's a little different um, because a lot of the weapons have a lot more recoil and it's something we're not used to seeing from um, Infinity War games or whatever you want to call it. Like, the weapons are not the same so I mean if you, you think you're gonna pick up a UMP and it's gonna handle just like the UMP in Modern Warfare 2 my opinion it don't it, do, it, well, it doesn't and the same with the MP5K it doesn't really handle as well as it did in Modern Warfare 2 because they've added recoil and I think that's gonna show um, who the better players are over time because um, when you're playing with a gun that has no recoil then it's not that hard to use and that's why a lot of people are um, so-called good at a game is because they could use a weapon that takes no skill so I think this game is gonna be um, a combination of Black Ops where gun skills is gonna come into play um, and um, it's all, all gonna be a big gun skill and decision making especially with these close quarter maps uh, because you shoot one guy and then you don't even have the chance to turn around and you probably already did um, that's one thing I've noticed because my kill to death ratio um, I think I have a three or three point something on Black Ops and right now I I'm on order for three I have like a 
less than a 2 or close to a 2 or something along those lines. Um, but anyway, as far as the search and destroy goes, you may have noticed that they they have like a countdown before each round, which I thought was really cool and at the beginning I didn't really understand. I was like, well, why do they have a countdown? But it's actually for um, fixing up connection before the game starts. So before you enter um, a round, let's say the game lags up or like the host is really bad and you always get that big lag spike and then like um, you run so far out of spawn and then like teleports you back. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys have experienced that before with search. Um, but with this, it gives you like a five second count to every round um, to ensure that the connection is fine. I haven't had a whole lot of connection issues so far. I know a lot of people were complaining about the connection um, the people that got the game early, that is, that's just because not not that many people had the game, so there wasn't that really, um, there wasn't that many great hosts to play it on. So, um, anyway, guys, this gameplay is coming to an end. I really just wanted to bust out a video for you guys on the release day of Modern Warfare 3. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you want to see some more Search and Destroy from me, um, please hit up that that like button and the comment section. I will be doing some more tips and some uh, routes on these maps once I get to know them a little bit better. Uh, right now I'm just trying to get a hang of playing the game and unlocking all the good weapons and all that mumbo jumbo. But anyway guys, I am out and this has been a 14-1 on the map mission. Modern Warfare 3 style. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.